All right, we're going live. Just keep us maximize our like his body. Do I stop it now? No, no, no. You're that's okay. Go live, but maximize his whole body in the picture. Right. Thank oh, you, and then uh, make sure we catch feet yeah. and stuff. You did great. Bye, guys. By uh, Weber Brothers. Later, so, like, right. You Here, look, guys. Okay. PG Grounds. Wizard. Coach. Wizard Brian. Are we going? We're going live. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up? I'm Brian Peterson. I'm going to have John Solar help me out today. We just got back from Vegas, and uh, John got a little bit of rest. He's looking good. Better. And uh, I'm still really tired because I stayed up all night uploading last night's video. Anyway. Uh, guys, I want to mention real quick, uh, Next Level Guy, nextlevelguy.com and Next Level Guy, he's got a YouTube channel. My podcast dropped, so you guys can go over and check that out at nextlevelguy.com. Again, please contribute to this channel and donate uh, on the Patreon link or the PayPal link and drop a few bucks and you guys might win a rash guard or a t-shirt, okay? Somebody asked about Vinny Magalhaes, he had an MMA fight, I think it was PFL 9 or something. He did a flying triangle and then did a reverse triangle and then finished the guy with the Kimura. Here's a little breakdown of that position and why and all that good stuff. So, uh, this is fine. Let's go in the black because I got a red shirt on. Okay, guys, look, I'm gonna, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have an overhook and a wrist control. Okay? So, it was an MMA fight. So, this isn't the best thing to do on the street, but... In a sport of MMA fight, it was an awesome attack and it led right to the end, right away. His opponent had head position right here as he has an overhook, okay, and the wrist control. So he's preventing himself from uh, taking any strikes. I'm taking away John's punches. Notice he can't punch me with his left arm, okay, and he also can't punch me with his right arm. So, and now, whoever has head position is, is gonna be dominating everything. So this guy made sure since his arms are being controlled, that he dominated the head position, so that way Vinny couldn't have this, sorry about that, couldn't have this position, where now I'm in position, I can start dominating the strikes here and the attacks. So he uses his head position, that makes him feel a lot more comfortable, and he's fine, but lowering his head also led to the flying triangle. So once he's here, you're gonna have to catch me, okay bro? Yes. <laughs> you guys can do this, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to start doing this, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to do the karate kick. We're gonna pick one leg up and then throw the other one. We're gonna pick up the leg like crane kick and throw the other one. It does work both ways. Uh, if I remember, I, I saw the clip right before I shot this. It looked like Vinny chose to go leg around the neck first and then second leg was his right leg. So you gotta stand up a little bit like you're holding me. Yeah, there you go. Cause I need somebody to support me. Okay, so we're here. I'm gonna throw left leg. Throw left leg up and then jump off your right foot and go to your flying triangle. Okay? Once you guys end up here, he ended up like this. This arm now is over here on this side. You can come down. This leg was up in the position. This was, leg was up. There you go. This arm's over here. Now the standard triangle is to bring the arm across and then get to here and then push off, make your angle and then lock. Okay? But. Vinny already had this planned because it's obviously in his repertoire. When the arm is over on this side, you can attack the Kimura and it's really dangerous. There's a lot of guys that get caught with this Kimura and it's, it's honestly, for me, it's the scariest moment. Like I'm not afraid of triangles as much as I'm afraid of Kimuras in the triangle. Like this is more dangerous to me. If I'm John, I don't want somebody to have a Kimura. If someone's right here, like there's such high leverage, the guy grabs his inner thigh, like this, and it's all over. He's gonna break the grip, and then, sorry John, I know I scared your, your, uh, your whole life was about to end right there. Did you feel that? Yes. I went a little too fast, sorry. Okay, so this is a great thing. Now, what about the legs, okay? So when John's hiding his arm like this, if I try to lock a regular triangle, you notice, I don't know if you guys can see this, John's got all these big muscles. He's a, he's a stud, you know? This guy's built like a, uh, Brick shit house, sort of. Look at that trapezius muscle. Got the giant shoulder. Look at the lat muscle right here. Like, I'm not super long with my legs, you know? 
because I got these gigantic calf muscles, it's hard, it's hard for me to lock a triangle. So look, you just lock the other way like this and everything's easier when his arm is over here. And now what it allows you to do is turn your hip. If you guys are like this, I can't turn this way when this leg is going here. When my leg goes here, I can turn my hips. And now even if he's locked, which uh, the guy wasn't, but even if he's locked right here, look at, I can get like a little shoulder submission. See how I broke the grip? And then I can get the uh, Kamara. And then once I'm here, it's over. The guy might grab his inner thigh, left knee, knee up. Yeah, you can, yeah, like this. And then now look, Vinny just pulled the, pulled the wrist out. I'm sorry about yeah, that, John. Okay. John's not as flexible as Vinny's opponent. I think it was Cleveland, okay, right here. And then it's all over. Like I said, this position is the most dangerous Kimura there is. If I was in the guard, like pull your right arm through, and I had a Kimura, John has way better chances of defending himself from this Kimura. Of course, if I move my hip out, I've got a great Kimura. But even this Kimura is more defensible than this Kimura. If you guys get here, the, like John's defense, you try to roll or whatever, try to roll. Uh, yeah, forward roll, something like that. You see, it, he's done. He's in a bad spot. There was a guy that got his arm broken at the ADCC trials. Um, you guys can watch that if you haven't already seen it. There was a loud snap. There were lightweights. I think it was uh, Krellinson, or I, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, um, from East Coast. I think he pulled it off on some guy. The guy that was stubborn, he didn't want to tap. So, anyway, getting back. Uh, let's do the flying triangle again. Again, that last one was cracking. Here, overhook, I'm here. I'm putting pressure, Charles. Come on, John. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna jump. As I jump, I lock. He ends up saving me on the landing because he resists the move so that I don't hit the back of my head. That's the idea behind it. Now look, I have everything. He's leaning forward, that's fine. I'm gonna move a little bit and now we've got this angle that's bad. It's really hard for me to try to make my triangle work. I gotta get his arm across, right? Well, no, I don't. It's over here. So I'm gonna go to the reverse triangle. So I'm gonna give you guys some other reverse triangle stuff. What should I do? I pull his head that way and I make my arm go here next to his head because I wanna feed my shin bone here to my hand. See how I have that? That's the temporary lock. My right arm's gonna come over here and underhook the leg and I'm gonna lock. Now, once I get this, I take my, I'm sorry, John. Yeah. It, life is tough, man. Keep going. Here we go. Underhook the head right here, and I'm, I'm gonna attempt to lock my hands. Once I lock, I squeeze, and I get the tap right there. So I can also, this is a choke, but it's also sort of a neck crank. Notice his spine is being compressed a little bit. Right there, and I get the submission. So uh, this is also a good option. If the guy starts to try to posture and get his arm free, like out of here, you know, like try to pull it out so you don't get caught. You can then move it across, change, and go back to your regular triangle and finish there. So you can always go back. So you go to reverse triangle when his arm is over here and he's hiding, and then you go to regular triangle when you move his arm across. So arm over here, don't try to do this triangle unless you guys are super long. If you're really long, this can still work. Okay, but if you're not, look, my hand goes on this side of his head, Grab my shin, pull it tight, then I move, I make an angle this way, lock, and now we can go. If I want the, the Kimura, look, I can take his arm here. Sometimes a guy who's really strong can lock tight. It could be a little bit of a, of a problem right here, but go ahead and lock tight. Watch me make a Kimura, look. See, I'm lifting my hip, I'm gonna break that grip, and now there's the Kimura, okay? Um, other options, by the way, I'm gonna show you some more stuff. He's here, lock your hands. Come here, here to the front. John's loving this, okay? You loving it, John? Like a, lot of, a lot of pressure on the neck. <laughs> like McDonald's? Yeah. Okay, so here we go, watch this one. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my fist and just push it right into his neck. Look, I rev the motorcycle and get my knuckles. There's no space right now. See, John, lift the chin up for me. Try to keep it down. Try to keep it down. Mm -hmm. See, I go inside. Now I pull his head and I push my fist into his neck and I get the tap. What do you think he's gonna to do to defend? Yes. Then I can go right back to the other side. I'm sorry about that, John. Okay, 
So a flying triangle, a flying triangle, whatever. Guys, self-defense wise, don't do a flying triangle in a street fight. It's not a good idea, but in a sportive fight, it's great. There's guys out there like, you guys, if you want to see flying triangles, you guys got to go check out uh, Gracie Baja. Oh, man, come on, the pressure's on, I can't remember his name. You guys are on the comment section gonna, gonna help me out. Um, Homolo Bahal's student. What's his name? <laughs> I can't think of it. I've, I feel so bad. I can't think of uh, it. Edwin Najmi. Edwin Najmi. Look up him and you'll see flying triangles. Like insane flying triangles. He's the man for flying triangles. Um, again, flying triangle was never my thing. Uh, I kind of worked more on flying arm bars, but. Um, Flying Triangles, Edwin Najmi, if you guys want to see more of that. Or I'm going to put the link for uh, Vinny Magalhaes, uh, his Flying Triangle, into the Kimura. The Kimura is a great option, especially when guys hide that arm and they bring it over there. Reverse your triangle. You want to use the reverse grip on your legs, your leg configuration, and uh, that's it. Teach me grappling, guys. It's going good. Everybody's watching. Just yesterday's video, 4,000 views one day pretty awesome thank you guys keep liking it thumbs up um i i like to also the guy that gives me the thumbs down every day you're I, you're appreciated as well because you're giving me a little view um there's always one so i know who i know who you are and uh share it with your friends and click that link down patreon subscribe enough done john what do you think great good work right. good stuff how's your neck a little sore we need a little tim tam Little Tim Tam. Yeah, we're gonna do a little Tim Tam after this. Help him out, okay? Faraz Ahabi, Tim Tam. Tim Tam. Yep, we'll see you. Thank you. Yeah.